Hey guys, welcome back and we are back in Orchids in Bloom. This place is like our home already. Yes. Okay. Uh, we did a video or I did a video. Yes. We were in here. I was working. Uh, yesterday <laughs> here. This is the weekend of the 5th, 6th and 7th of April. Uh, she has an event coming up in May before Mother's Day. So, um, this place is, if you haven't watched that video, it's awesome. Today I'm here because I didn't do the vendors. So we're going to chat with the vendors. We sure are. And we have new faces. We so do. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Let's are do it. Are you ready? Let's do it. Come on. Wow. First of all, I want you to look at this display, okay? I know. This display is just beautiful. Beautiful. It she is. did a tremendous job. It's like beautiful, beautiful. Like I said before. It's a happy place. Oh, mm -hmm. let me see your shirt. Oh. There you go. Orchid Whisper. <laughs> Whisper? Whisper. 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 <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let's do the vendors. Let's do the vendors. First so off, neat. we have um, someone that we um, met before and yes. uh, we feature her in uh, Flamingo. And this is Wendy. Hi. Not Wendy's, Where but this you? is Wendy from <laughs> Glass House Creations. All right. Tell me about your your business, your My booth. Business. So um, basically, what I have, I have handmade uh, topiaries that I do sell. I um, different little animals. Every show, I try to bring out something different. Um, they're covered in sphagnum moss, and like I said, they are handmade, so I have to sculpt them by hand. Um, and they're covered in a vine called uh, creeping vine, Jenny. And they absolutely love moisture, so you can't kill these guys because the only way you could kill them is by not watering them. They love water. <laughs> um, and they do, eventually, they'll kind of grow all over and uh, they'll give you flowers, yellow flowers, during springtime. Oh, I love yeah. it. I love it. And these all little right. guys? And then we have some baskets. So I have gardening kits. So this is like a great gift if you want to give to somebody or like a housewarming or anything like that. And it's just fun. It brings your rakes, um, your seeds for, for wildflowers, your pots. Um, I believe there's also gloves and shears. And then you have a fun little stake to put in the ground as well. I love it. Birthday, Mother's Day. Any, any day. day. Exactly. And these, we actually purchased one of these from you. And we love it. Um, these are from they're handmade in mexico by different artisans so nice. no piece is exactly the same they're each unique so you can put them indoor or outdoor indoor or outdoor okay i love it you can put um your plants up here correct and there's some there some examples of you could just place uh, any orchid or if you want to put a plant there just to display it and um for hanging oh nice well these i have for my display here yeah. but i do give hardware that goes in the back and okay. it would be up to the person um how they want to hang That's it if they want to use like a metal wire yes. um to hold it or if they want to do anchors into a wall and then they would be able to do that as well nice various prices different yeah, sizes i love it Correct. and then you have something um on the other side yeah, let me too. go around to show you so more baskets I another see basket oh. so this basket is mostly for orchids okay. so for example if you want to shop you can shop here mm -hmm. you come and you can grab a basket you have your bark you have your pot you have a rhizome clip also you have your fertilizer pellets you have a mount as well so you that's a second way of mounting another orchid yes um you also have your shears and like i said you have your gloves as well and also your clips and a stake to hold if you're um Orchids in bloom. Orchids in bloom. Exactly. Yes, I love it. That's where we're at today. Yes. And I love these. I remember that I saw this in your in the, our other video. And oh, it's so smooth and nice. And I remember this little guy that you were telling me about this little 
Um, right, it's an open an spot open, so you can yes. put here the water. Um, yeah, some of these collections, you start getting into colors, and when you get to the colors, I'm going to show you the black one, it's a little bit easier. They're glazed, um, okay. but the part at the bottom is not glazed so that it's still porous and it okay. can absorb the water. And as you can see here, it's only glazed it to here, and then the rest is um, porous. porous. So it would be able to distribute to your soil. Nice. It's very easy because you just kind of fill this up. Of course, once you just got to make sure how much you put in here because you don't want it to overflow. Right. Um, you put it down and that should last you about two weeks and you can eye it as it goes down. And once you get to a very low level, you know, it's time to refill. Very nice. I love it. And then I see that you have... Um... I can be reached. I have Instagram. Yes. Um, I have my um, website and I also have my email. So they're more than welcome to contact me if they want via email. If there's any questions or if they want to inquire about shipping or anything as well. And um, do you ship here in the U.S., correct? I yes. Okay. I love it. And then I also have some plant stands, too. This yes. will probably be a little bit harder to ship, so this might be more for local shows. Right, right. I love it. Everything's so nice. Thank you. My eye always goes over there. <laughs> and then, of course, I have my funny shirts. Your fun shirts, yes. Yeah. Yes, I love it. Nice to see you again. Thank you for visiting Thanks us. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> All right, moving on. So, where are we going? Oh, right over here. Oh, where? Where is oh. Luis? Luis, right? Luis, I am. Yo soy la mamá. Oh, oh. mucho gusto. Luis's mom. And we have Luis in several of our videos. And this is his business name, Botanical Life. Botanical Life, yes. And, um... This is the arrangement in wood. Driftwood. He does his arrangements on driftwood that yes. he gets himself. Yes. And he does um, an array of plants. You have succulents, you have the orchids, and... Air plants. Air plants. Local, and um, does he ship? Does he he also ship this in the U.S.? Yes. Okay. And what um, does he have a, an email or a contact Botan information? Botanical Light in, uh, in Instagram. Instagram Botanical Light. Okay. Yes. I love it. Yes, it's so beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful arrangement. Yes. Because when the flower dies, you can't put another because you have the wood. Yes. And then you cut the flower and it's still blooming again. Yes. Because the they original growing the trees. They love the wood. Yes. It's very important. And it's at a great price. Yes, very good. By internet is three hundred forty-five. Oh, okay. Well, not his. No. <laughs> his are very good. Very yes. good deal. Very good deal. You have three different plants here on a beautiful um, yes. driftwood. Look, four hundred twenty-five. Yes. Four hundred twenty-five by internet. You see. Yep. And we have in 75, good price. Very, very, very good. Price. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank you. Uh, yes. Su nombre? Estela Díaz. Estela, Estela. Díaz. Y que viva Colombia. Pues. Ay, sí. <laughs> <laughs> Qué lindo. Thank you. Gracias, mamá. All right. So we have a, a new face. A new, new face. Summer, right? You. Oh, me. I'm the new face. <laughs> yes, you are. Hey, everybody. How are you? How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, my name is Don. Hi. Don. <laughs> and where's your booth? So, right up here in the front. All right, let's go and browse. Let me like see. A road trip? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tell me about your business. This is the name of your business here? Yeah, no? Orcus okay. Designs. Okay. This is a beautiful card. And that's a flower arrangement that I did. I do floral design and I sell orchids. Beautiful. And let me ask you, I've always asked everyone, um, do you ship? Yes, I do. Here in the U.S.? Yeah, here in the U.S. Domestically for now, but all 50 states. Okay. Maybe internationally soon. Okay, very good to know. <laughs> and um, tell me about 
your business? Um, do you uh, do arrangements to to? Um, ele- you said actually, mostly like this right I here. Do, I do floral designs, so I do like weddings and events, but not with orchids. Just with like regular cut flowers, like floral design. Okay. I bring in my orchids and I sell them. Um, what you're going to find with me is what you can't find anywhere else. So. It's good to be weird. It's good to be weird. Orchids. This is our Facebook group. We have over 18,000 members oh, from okay. over 200 countries. Wow. Nice. And it's a Facebook group that I set up that's all about things that you don't see every day. Okay. So you're not, you'll not find a dendrobium, a, a phalaenopsis in my house. You'll not find a catlia. <laughs> so I like all the weird stuff. Okay. Do you have anything and weird that I might be interested in? Like say, hey, look at this. <laughs> Let's see. Like this little guy is. That is one of my favorites. That's uh, Eulophia. And that one is Memoria Alexis Pardo. Wow. And that's an easy little plant to grow. Mm-hmm. Um, it sleeps for about six months out of the year. Oh. And it wants to just be dry, just like a catacetum. Oh, wow. And it wakes up and blooms in the spring and summer. And when it's growing, just lots of water and fertilizer and shade. And it grows all summer. After the blooms fade, you've got beautiful leaves that last all year. And in the winter, they drop. And it goes to sleep again. It's beautiful. Wow. Something to look this forward is, this to. Is a this is a big plant, too. Look at the flowers on that. Oh, wow. i got to put some glasses on here. <laughs> oh, wow. The name there? Uh, it's called Bulbophyllum roxasa. Okay. Which oh. is a word that means basically gargantuan or leviathan. Wow. So it's a cross of Bulbophyllum phalaenopsis and Beccarii, two of the biggest species, and they ended up with something even bigger. Look at the size of this leaf. Look at the size of the leaf. Wow. That's an impressive size. That's about three feet long. Yes. Wow. That is a big plant. This is a beautiful plant also. Yeah, this is one called Crown Fox Leopard, and this is one of the less common cultivars. That's a beautiful one, beautiful. Does it open up more? Yeah, the flowers are just uh, just opening. They okay. started opening about two days ago. Okay. So they open up, they stay slightly cupped, but they will open up more. Okay. And um, so you were saying that you do um, events and weddings. Yes. Anything that sticks out that you might want to say? Well, my claim to fame so far has been uh, I led a design team at the 2022 Oscars. Wow. So we did all the flowers for the fourth annual Grio Gala, one of the big Oscar after parties that was there in Hollywood nice. on Oscar night. And yeah, that was cool. And can someone find it on, on the internet so they yeah, can look at yeah. your... Um, I have an Instagram page that's also Orcus Designs, O-R-C-H-I-S. Okay. So it's at Orcus Designs. And you can see all of the photos from the Oscars there, as well as my floral design work. Nice. I'll be checking that out. (laughs) Very nice. I'm so glad that we've met you today. Thank you. you. Hope to see you again. We're here. We're actually frequent flyers here. (laughs) We love it here. I've seen your videos a few times. I've seen you you doing your your tours. In fact, I think I saw the one from this week. Very good. I'm happy. I'm happy. Any suggestions? Anything that you can suggest for us to do better or change? For you guys? No, I love her energy. Oh, she's fun. Thank you're fun. you. You, mm-hmm. I, whatever you're on, I want it. <laughs> I'm just a, for her. I am a natural high. I just like, I'm a, I'm very inquisitive. I'm always like, I have to ask this, that, and the other. I like to learn. Well, I have to tell you that part of the fun of watching your channel is just watching how happy you are. <laughs> to go around and look at orchids because that's I, how I feel when I yes. look at orchids. So. It's just that I, I love nature in itself 100%. Yeah, you me too. know, me too. I could be walking around and look at a pebble. I'm like, I'm keeping that pebble. <laughs> <laughs> I do the same thing. And, you know, the, the floral design and the importing orchids really comes out of a love of flowers. Yeah. So it's all kind of the same thing. And it's all because I love flowers. Yeah. So, it's nice. just, you know, yeah. something that's, it's nature. It's, they're different. Everyone, all of them have a different, a different personality. Right. How about that one? <laughs> one <laughs> if one we can tip, say. One tip for everybody. Unusual orchids, don't be afraid of them. There's so many, everything that I have here is easy. Good. So that's what I'm hearing from a lot of people that are coming to my booth 
and they're looking at these and like, oh, these are hard to grow. No, they're not. You don't have to be scared of uncommon orchids. And if you have questions, find us on Facebook and ask your questions. We'll help yes. you. Yes. Yeah, because actually when you accomplish something, then you feel even even better. You know, you're like, hey, you know, <laughs> I've conquered this. I, yeah. I made it. I, I, I made a baby out of this plant or I got a second bloom. You know, yeah. it's something exactly. that you can conquer. You can say, I can do it. Exactly. Very nice. Thank you. Thanks I'm so much. glad to have met nice you. To see you guys. Nice to see, see you. you I'm keeping this card. Look at Perfect. how beautiful this is again. <laughs> nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank see you. See you later. <laughs> All right. Let's Going see. Going down the path Who here. else? Who else do we have here today? I see tomatoes. Uh, one tomato, two tomatoes. I know. Yeah. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Oh, My mom loved this plant and, also. Yeah, this is a beautiful plant. And oh, Koki Moss. Our friend Gabby, which is away. Yes. And you can find her here. And look at this bonsai. That's I know. Nice. I think I, I, I think he's like a little sumo wrestler, right? That size. I know. Yes. And she was trying to give us tips on, on how to uh, grow this. We have several bonsais. Make him a chunky guy like this. <laughs> look at them. Oh, and this is beautiful here. Yeah. That's a beauty. And not only the, uh, the kokidamas, but she also has these woods, uh, wood oh, bases. Oh, yes. Or, or holders. Oh, that's She's doing beautiful. the coconut uh, orchids now in the... Uh, yeah, the orchids in the coconut, in the coca, in the kokima, uh, in the kokodama. kokodama. <laughs> yep. I love it. I love all the different plants. Beautiful. Oh, I see all of the wooden pieces here. Yep. They look really, really nice. Very, Very nice. nice. Different shapes and sizes. Always a pleasure to see her. Hi. And here we go, our friend. How are you? From Second Son. This is not We're live. Not live. We decided not to do live. You cut your hair. <laughs> he cut my hair. We are coming to you. <laughs> But before, you. he's got uh, trap, the plant trap, so he trapped yes. us in the meantime. He trapped us here. <laughs> oh, I like the, the sign. Yes, yeah. It's bigger. Yeah. It's nice. Bigger. Yeah. I it's love nice. how vibrant it is. It's yeah. like, I'm over here. Yeah, it came out nice. It did. Yeah. I love it. Oh. Yeah, they're blooming. And it's like, oh. The Venus, oh, Venus wow. fly trap blooms yeah. like this. Yeah. Does it smell? You know, I never thought it Well, maybe. I gotta put the She's nose to the test. About this. Probably not. Let me see. Maybe. I hope that I don't get Listen, bitten. Hold on. Do let it here. Don't, and not don't there. do it here. Okay, okay, let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna just lift this up a little bit. You know what? Mm, I don't think it smells. No, but it's a pretty flower. Very nice. Oh. Pollinator doesn't get eaten by the plants. So exactly like me. <laughs> yeah. It sure is. Wow. I never saw that. Yeah, I never bothered to cut them off. Normally you wow. cut them off, but they've been getting a lot of light, so. If I can do the set seed, mine as well. I never and saw that. Nice to have Venus fly traps. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this puppy here. I know. This Venus fly trap is pretty wild because it has oh. 14 traps. Oh my it's gosh. I think it's called Flex, but I'm not sure. But you don't wow. really see ever has that many traps. Look at this. This little guy right There's here. 14 of them on there. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, I think that is a cultivar called Flex, but it wasn't like, it's just a guess. Cause normally they're like, they're like that. Yeah. You know, with what, five, six? Yeah. It's like double. Wow. He's greedy. Yeah. Yeah. That's his nickname. They're, they're pretty big traps, too. I mean, for yes, traps, it big. is. They're pretty big, you know? I got another guy. Wow. But normally they're just like. I mean, I won't yeah, like this is so how many traps is that? Yeah, yeah. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. So yeah, it's almost double. And one of the guys yeah. get so it on seven, that was fourteen. I'm pretty sure that's the wall flex. I should what set it apart. It didn't really look different than a Venus fly trap, but it than a typical. Mm -hmm. It just had. They said it has a bunch of traps, like a bunch more. I need to walk around with these because I'm always getting bitten by mosquitoes. Really? <laughs> yes. I've so, got. Tell us really quick again about the care and and and. Oh, yeah. I mean, the Venus flytraps. You gotta um, give them rainwater. They don't like to be uh, city water because of chlorine. And you just grow them in like long fiber sphagnum, 50% and then 50% perlite. And then preferably a tall white pot, full sun. White pot because it doesn't heat up the soil as much as a black pot. Okay. You don't have to, but in Florida you almost cook them. So, and when it's really hot, I put them in a little bit of water. Even though they say you shouldn't, but when it's 95 degrees out, they like it. And can you put them inside the house? Would you, you say can. you can? You just need a really bright window. Okay. Or underneath a pretty strong grow light. Okay. And uh, can you just put them uh, in direct soil? You know you have to put them in like peat. Well, I mean, if, I guess if you had a bog, if you okay. had a bog set up with peat, but it not, you know, peat, uh, Canadian peat, and perlite. You can't use topsoil or okay. potting soil, yeah. Because okay. it, need, it needs a mineral-free um, growing medium. Okay. That, and where are they from, actually? The, uh, these watchers grow in North Carolina and, okay. like, a little part of South Carolina. They also grow uh, not... Uh, what do yeah, they call it? Uh, Native, but they're also you can find them in the panhandle. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. And when it's time to repot, what do you suggest? I suggest because these are way too tiny. Like a tall, like, mm -hmm. the bigger the better. If you got a six inch tall by six inch wide, mm -hmm. that's perfect because they got really long roots too. So white pot helps, and uh, tall, tall and deep. <laughs> so. And how often do you water again? I'm sorry. I mean. You could get away with every other day, but like okay. when we get 95 degrees, they dry out quick. They're like thirsty. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So you don't want them to dry out. Oh, okay. Um, but then again, you don't want them in halfway up in water, maybe like an yeah. inch. Mm -hmm. and it's, yeah. In the winter, you don't want them sitting in water because they'll rot. Oh, okay. So. Well, it's always nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Of course. Yes. Yeah. And I love the sign. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, the sign was a big improvement. Yes. And Look at the flowers here. here. Yes, I'll be here in May again. Great. Look at these also flowering. Okay. Lovely. Yeah, those are beautiful. Wow. Yeah, they're all blooming, so people like blue purple flowers. Yes, they're very, very pretty. And these are more than these. Wow. That That's really, just, I like this one. It's really good. Really yes, pretty picture. it does. Yeah. It is very, very pretty. I was looking at that big boy there. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> That's a beauty. All Thank right. you again. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And, and who do we have here? Stacy, where she had surgery. You look so good. I love your hair. Thank you. I love Thank it. I noticed you. it right away. You Thank look so you. fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Anything that you want to show me here today? Well, I got some a new style of pots. Yes, here. and I love the colors. Aren't they beautiful? Those are um, perfect for spring. Yeah. Yes. And then I did a little darker, this purple. And I love that color too. And this is what it looks like in the bigger size. I love it and I love the shape. And then we did these. And then Along with the slots in it. I love Because we this. have a lot of people asking for like in their bathroom. They just yes. have a small area and they just want a small little. Tube. Yes. So we did it in the nice white matches everything. And we did a little in this. Yes. Color. I Love it. And I love it. What else is new? Well, we have we have a couple of frogs left and some snakes. Oh, <laughs> my God, I have not met this little guy yet. Oh my God! Look at him from the back, from the side, and from the front. And they are articulate. Oh you know? my gosh! This is beautiful. They oh, they're just too cute. They, they, we just saw them on the top of the plant. Oh, the plant yeah. here. I love it. I love it. And obviously the Buddhas, you know. Love it. Look at this nice purple one. It's all I love sparkly. It. It's 
beautiful. We have a bunch of them, guys. And, and yesterday when I did the other video, I bought the dragon. Where is the other one? You sold it? Sold for so many. Wow. First thing this morning, wow. it was gone. Look at this. You Look could just that. wrap them around your plants. Yep. This is as close as I get into holding a snake, a okay? Snake, I know. <laughs> but he's like a cute this. snake. It is. You know, you could probably just do this. Look at that, like you put them all around. Yeah, and through, right through here. Right through here, like pretending that he's just getting around. I love it, you know? Very Look nice. at that. Very nice. I love it. And then we have some double wide, well, I call them double wide, but we have the thin mounts we were doing, and now we're doing a wider one. I love it. And we're doing them in this green, so yes. like this, it kind of, you know, hides a little bit. And we're also going to start doing this like wood. Yeah. I mean, this was our first one that I was able to print, but it's got these nice grooves in it so that it will, you know, go in there nicely. Mm -hmm. so, Love it. In a brown, so it looks more like wood. Yes. So, and we just, we have some new colors. Yes. The new color, I love it. It reminds me of Barbie. <laughs> yes. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Right. And this one is beautiful. Check this one out right here. Yes. Wow. Wow. Look, at, Look that. at that. Happy plant. <laughs> yep. Wow. I was like, I don't even remember buying a purple phalaenopsis. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. I this love one it. Right here is quite yes, and this is a beautiful pot too. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. A little dusty. It's beautiful. Yes. This again is Orchid Pot Studio. The pot lady. The pot lady. Look at the apron. I am the pot lady. Look at the apron. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Nice. I love it. Remember. Awesome. It was great to see you. Thank you, Stacy. Take a snake or a frog or both. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. We'll Thank see you. you. Guys. I love you guys. We'll see you so again. See you. I'm so happy I to love see the you. Hair. Thank it's you. So fresh. No. It's so fresh. I do. I really love it. Is it okay? I'm going to put it back in place. And here we have the one and only Mike from uh, Tango Roo. How's it going, guys? How's it going with you? It's good. What's new and excited? Yeah. First Exciting. Show. First day of the show. Sorry. Long day. First day of the show was pretty good. Very yeah. excited about it. Hopefully tomorrow more people will come and Sunday more people will come. Um, the only thing new that we're doing at Tangle Roos is we're actually doing 3D animals now. Um, my daughters. Oh my. Oh Can you wow. print me this? Can you print me that? Oh. So I started 3D animal printing. Oh wow. I do pots as well, but I won't sell pots at this show, but I do sell them at the nursery. Nice. I'll touch the bullfrog. Yes, the Pac-Man frog? Yeah, I'll touch it. <laughs> I scared my oldest with her saying we had a new pet and I threw one at her. Oh my she gosh. Jumped. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have your beautiful pottery yes. from, yes, from uh, our friend Lourdes. She just dropped them off on Wednesday. There's some of her new designs that she created. She does beautiful one. I love it. I do, I yeah. do. Beautiful. Very detailed. Very nice. I swear, it really does look like leather. Well, yes. the, the, the purse that we showed in, yes. in the uh, Wellington uh, video. It does. It's amazing. Now, how she does it is with wax. She told oh. me her little secret. Okay. When it's hot, she puts wax on it and then puts it back in the kiln for a few minutes. Well, wow, it's just, it's beautiful. Yeah. Really well, beautiful. Very happy with it. Um, she made my wife something, but I didn't bring it. So I apologize for that. Next time. Next time. Next you're time. apologizing to your wife or you're apologizing <laughs> to us? To you guys for not bringing oh, what okay. she does. Oh, um, okay. okay. And then the donkey that she did at the Wellington show was amazing. They sold out within the first 10 minutes. Wow. Yes, the donkeys were outstanding. 
Wow. Well, we have something else to film next time. Yes. You know? I'll try to get her to make me another one. Yes, yes, <laughs> and of course. What What do you have here, man? Is this is like, these are monsters. Scriptum vara le leopards, sorry. That's a big plant. Those that, are all big plants. The one behind it's even bigger. Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> So can I? Yeah. Wow. wow. So this is almost hay. Yes. It's so it, dried up. They're the aerial roots. They pull. They lift up in the air to pull the moisture out of the air. Oh wow. Watering. Mm -hmm. I recommend putting them in terracotta pots with okay. a rock base, so they dry out thoroughly between waterings. People put them in plastic. I know these are in plastic, but as you can tell, not much water is getting in them. Okay. So um, clay, clay and rock. Clay and rock, so they dry Lava out. rock? Lava rock is what I use. Okay. Um, so they dry out thoroughly between your waterings. Mm -hmm. So that's what I recommend. A lot of people will put them in the terracotta cones uh -huh. because they like how the aerial roots will go through the holes and then shoot up in the air. Okay. And then, so these roots will always go up because yes. it's searching. Oops, sorry. For it's the moisture. Always okay. And, um, how often do you water them then? I water twice a week in my shade house okay. in the summer, and then in the winter I only water maybe once every eight days. Oh, okay. Wow. There's a lot of plants do go dormant in the summer, in the winter months. Oh, okay. Okay. And wow. what what's this beauty here? That yeah. is root RLC Ruby or BLC Ruby. I forgot what the name of it is exactly. Um, a lot of them were blooming about two months ago, and this one is just a late bloomer. So, very pretty. Beautiful, beautiful color. Has a light, light fragrance. And this is a beauty. That that's is, a beautiful. That's Cupid. Cupid? Yeah. Oh. That's very fragrant as well. Let me see. Very, very fragrant. And then also, Chilleriana. Got the Chilleriana. Are these? Probably one of my favorites. What's catching my eye is this here. Yes. Those two they, colors. They play off each other. So beautiful. Beautiful plant. Beautiful. I only beautiful. have one of those available. Um, but I think Pam may have a couple inside. Okay. Also, if I had a lot of people that want the gramophylums but they don't have a space for them. So I started carrying the miniatures. Oh, okay. nice. Okay. Gramophyllum scriptums, mm -hmm. small times, mm -hmm. super bloomer. Yep. And this cannot go inside the house? It can, it just can. put it on a west-facing window. Okay. So it will get a temperature fluctuation, which 90% of your plants need, or 98% okay. of your plants need, from night and day. So your window will get about 120 during the day. Okay. And then... At night, it will drop down to your night temperatures. And then once it stops blooming, you should take it outside the house? You can leave them outside. I keep, I grow mine with my cattleyas. Okay. Um, these are super mutants, which are even smaller. Oh. If you want to go there. This one right here had four spikes on it when I was counting earlier. You have one, mm -hmm. two, three... Four. Oh, five. There's oh. another one. Wow. Five spikes in a little plant. That's a lot of stuff in that little pot. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. So I like the, the gramophylum scriptums. They're a neat little plant to add to your collection, especially if you're a collector. They are a species. Um, the super mutant, they, what they've done is lot, pretty much line bred to get them small. Okay. So that's the bottom line when it comes to certain plants or time sib. I think this was one. Oh, that one's a different one. Multiflorum. So the flowers are going to be slightly different than the regulars. Okay. Very well, nice. I'm glad you guys stopped by. Nice, Mike. Yes, thank you. Thank again. you so much. Nice to see you. Too. Nice seeing you. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. We're thank heading you. south. Yes.
Where are you going? Are you going south, to Port St. south of the border. We're going to the Bonnet House tomorrow, and on the way back, uh, Port, Port St. Lucie. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Enjoy the Bonnet House. Say hi to Jim and I. He'll be there. Okay. 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 Well. Right. Thanks, Thank Mike. You again. Yep. Have a great one. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. How Here are you? We have you? Sierra Madre and. Uh, Mr. C. Jungle. <laughs> we see we see these guys more often than our own families. Okay, <laughs> we saw C at Flamingo last weekend, yeah, and here he is again. Yeah. You know, How it's you? like a family already. Yeah, yes. thank you for coming. <laughs> yeah. See, what's new here? What uh, What do you have new? Anything uh, different from last weekend at yeah, Flamingo? Yeah, we, we have these new hybrids. This is the Dendrobium anosmum um, so. Which is, they are here before, but this is the latest one. We have the uh, Tats of Class by Hutoni I Ciruela. It's the honest one. They see, see the difference of the flower now. Yeah. They cross that one and the uh, Tats of Class is right there. I like how it this hangs. One, right? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it's that's very the pretty. New that's so, a new hybrid. Right? Okay. So is this a hybrid? Yes, sir. Yes. This is a hybrid? Yeah. This and is that's... Yeah, this is the latest one now. And this is... So this is... Yeah. This, guys, is a hybrid from a hybrid. Yeah. Beautiful this is color. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. This Very is the latest nice. that we have. And of course, you always have the Medanilla, the best-selling Medanilla, right there in the corner. And um, I did notice this. What what type of plant is this? That's the medanilla. It's the Gregory Hambali. They are native to Southeast Asia. Papua New Guinea is the original origin of the plant. They flower on the uh, stem. And what type of plant is it? Like it's a medanilla. It's a tropical plant. Okay. Of the exotic Beautiful tropical color. Plants, yeah. Beautiful. Look at the leaves. Nice, yeah. Even the leaves are beautiful. Yes. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Has Juliana been here this weekend? You know, Juliana, the, the lady? The, no, no. No? Uh, but Our viewer, Juliana, she's so cute. You yeah. haven't met her. We met yeah. her. Yeah, it's like she I is... I don't know her yet personally, but I don't think she was here. Oh, oh Juliana, we say hello. Um, you know, many regards to you. Thank you for watching yeah. our channel. Um, oh, and this... Isn't this what um, Those are the What song got uh, the Tamiami, not, uh, yeah, we got it for her, I think. Beautiful flower. Beautiful. Yeah. And we have all this kind of desert roses. Yes, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. I was yeah. looking at this one. Beautiful. Man, what do we have? have this big bandas, oh, right? wow. This is beautiful. I saw most of my big bandas, except the Gale Hadas, is about 12 feet uh, banda. That's a big one, that's only one piece. Wow. Oh my gosh, yes. This is. Um... That's the uh, Erika Sisek dance. It's a Gordon Dillon by Tesalada. Tesalada, okay. Yeah, it's. That's where I have all the fragrance. Beautiful. And what do we have here? See, this is beautiful. This dendrobium here. This is uh, cherry abbey. Wow. That's beautiful. Look at the size of those flowers. Yes. Wow. That's the uh, cherry abbey. It's a uh, close of this spectacular. Yeah. Beautiful plant. Very nice. And of course, we always have the best-selling Medanillas. Yes. Those are the latest one we have. That's the uh, Medanilla Royal Royal uh, Intense Blue. Also from uh, Malaysia and uh, the Philippines, right? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Always our best-selling. And look at this. Look at this dendrobium. Is this? Yeah. this this is a dendrobium? Yeah, that's the species. Oh my god. It's the uh, opioglossum. Wow. This is beautiful. Uh, yeah. When do they do they bloom? Uh, they are in this part now. This one is in this part already. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I have, I have few left on this one. Okay. Yeah. And what's the care on this, see? 
I see yes. it in mass. Yeah, I have them in Moss. I have them also in uh, the Cypress Ma Cypress Mouse. Okay. I just uh, I found a uh, guy that have a sawmill, and I got all those uh, Cypress Mouse that they have, and try to use it. See how it goes, you know. Um, how, and what is this here? This Those is the Paris Grossa. Wow. That's Isn't this nice? Here. They're nice here. This is a species also. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I see species. Yeah. Very then nice. I have a few of the uh, Maxillaria uh, variabilis. This is also a species. The yellow one, right? Yeah. Is that the mini? The mini one. Yeah. yeah. The Maxillaria coconut mm -hmm. orchids. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Variabilis. Yeah, awesome. And then you have your uh, Phalaenopsis, very uh, reasonable price. Awesome. You have those type of lotus over there, the brachiata. Oh yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. They have beautiful flowers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You see it right there. Yes. Oh, the smell here is wonderful. Wonderful. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. Look at this. Look at this specimen here. This is like. I know. <laughs> it's yes. never Ooh. ending. That's more than twelve. Twelve foot. Uh, wow. Man, wow. how old is this plant? Oh, I believe maybe more than 18, 20, something like that. 18, 20 years old. Wow. Wow. The flowers are going already, or pretty much gone, but they have uh, new, new ones opening yeah, up got, here. Uh, I don't have a space, a uh, good space, and it got beaten by the trailer yesterday. Oh, okay. Because I think the. Uh, the flower the touching the uh, touching the uh, the roof, oh, okay. and it keep bumping, so yes. they got little damage. And, oh, uh, okay. Nice. Probably next time a better bloom, you know. Oh, it's All right. a nice plant. Yes, it is. Yes. It's huge. All right. Thank you so much. See. See you again. Okay. Thank you. Thank Always you for a coming. pleasure. Thank See you next you. time. Say hello to the wife, beautiful Susie. Yeah, thank you. Susie. Hello, Susie. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Philippines. Hello, Australia, Japan. Thank you. Thank you and so much. Asia, Singapore, Hong Kong, All right. <laughs> Thailand. Say something in uh, in the Filipino. Kumusta kayo lahat? Nice. Thank, thank, you. You. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Very good night. You too. Take care. I'm in Lulu. Sitting area right there with some flower. Okay. You see, you see that there? Yeah. And I make nice. some little bit. Yeah, some right there. And I think some. This morning, nice. oh, when I have all color. But because there are too many people. Yes. Yeah. Everything looks so beautiful. Yeah. And you open that area out to see in the other side. I like that. Yeah. We're going to put like maybe two more. Yeah, two more on that side. That's why all the window is easy for them to be able to see everything. Nice. It makes it look bigger. Yeah. I like it. I like it. And we want to witness every step of the way. Yes. Yeah. So now we're going to send you to Philippines. Oh, I wish. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to be in Philippines everywhere. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Nice. I love it. Everything looks great. All right. So I'll let you guys look. look okay. Good. Thank you. This corner here, I didn't get in the other video. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And there is Vicky making shorts. Vicky making shorts and shorts. Thank you.
guys so this is the end of this video and like always we thank you Pam yes. uh, we love this place we love you and everybody that comes here and um, we just want to talk about the future events what's coming up okay the next one is Ricky uh, this one's orchids in bloom here we are in uh, this one will be April 26th to the 28th the special weekend and you know what Something's going on over here. Clinic repotting. This is very good. Remember, nice. 2001 Rock Spring Road in Apopka, Florida. And you're more than welcome to come and join this day. This yes, being at many you plan, you want to leave pot. So that weekend, we have, the, you know, like people can bring the plant and we leave pot for you for free. And you just go for it and ready for spring and the plant can grow. So yes or they can come and buy one of your plants and say hey can you repot this one for me yes because actually mother's day will be not around not that far away yes and they can get that all ready for their mother yes <laughs> so and then so this one is uh right, right before mother's day yeah. correct yes orlando international orchid show and sale may 3rd 4th and 5th nine to five just 
he will upload that. And then the next one? Next one is uh, the Central Florida Orchid Society's 66th <gasps> annual orchid show. 66? 66 66 years. Yes. Wow. 66. So, so far we have three. Three. The next event, so you guys can put in your calendar and see what you plan to do. Yes. What is the next one? And this is one of the major events of the year. Correct? Oh, yes. yes. This one is in Redlands International Orchid Fe uh, Festival, Food and Mu uh, Music and Orchids. And this one will be May 17th through the 19th. And you can log in to www.redlandsorchidfestival.com. Uh, and uh, we hope to see you in all of these events. Absolutely. We yes. are heading south now to cover the Bonnet House. And Sunday on the way up, we're going to go to Port St. Lucie. And Nick is there. Yes. Yep. This weekend at Port St. Lucie, Nick is there. Penny put the spray up and then... Also at Bonnet Hound, Fort Lauderdale, Thomas is there. So we're working hard to keep all the show continue. So plan, plan your schedule. You can stop at Bonnet Hound and then you come down to Port St. Lucie and visit Apopka International this week, Orlando International this week, AO8 meeting this weekend. Come enjoy with that. It's a fun weekend. So see you guys in the next video. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. You. And we're going to send you. this video to Thailand and Philippines. So hold yes. on, Thailand Whoa. is coming. Well, say Hello, something everyone. in Thai. Sawadee We're going to send up, we're going to song video in the car, in the Mung Thai, in the car, and 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 the car. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Love Bye. you all. Yes. All right. So Thank you awesome. so much. Thank you so much. Everything wow. looks beautiful. I told beautiful. you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs>